Hello and welcome to another episode of Be Convinced Science. Today I am your host Dr. Aman Bajpayee and from field of nanoscience and technology I have bought something very interesting for you. This thing is a vessel which is having a very small size size which is of micrometer and sometimes nanometer this vessel is known as a liposome this liposome is having a tremendous amount of application in the field of drugs in the field of cosmetics and in the field of food industry yes you heard it right it is having a multiple applications and this is a vital research element which is going on these days we will learn everything about this liposome from synthesis to application all in this video so stay connected till the end liposomes are microscopic vessels made up of phospholipid bilayer much like a cell membrane these lipid molecules spontaneously arrange themselves into a spherical structure in aqueous solution at the heart of liposomes and cell membranes lies a unique structure known as a phospholipid bilayer phospholipids are amphiphatic molecules meaning they have both hydrophilic which is a water attracting and hydrophobic which is a water repelling region Each phospholipid molecule consists of a hydrophilic head and two hydrophobic tails. The head contains a phosphate group which is polar and thus hydrophilic while the tail contains a fatty acid chain which is a non-polar and hydrophobic. Now let's understand the formation of liposomes. Liposomes forms through a process called a self assembly when phospholipids are dispersed in water they arrange themselves into a bilayer spontaneously these bilayers can then close up to form closed vessels encapsulating a small volume of aqueous solution inside the formation of liposomes or liposomes begin with a delicate dance of lipid molecules in an aqueous solution these lipid molecules typically phospholipids are amphiphatics which means they have hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail when these lipid molecules are dispersed in an aqueous solution something remarkable happen the hydrophilic head of the lipid interact with the water molecule while the hydrophobic tail shy away from the water seeking refuge amongst themselves then they form a spontaneous assembly driven by the desire to minimize interaction between the hydrophobic tail and water the lipid molecule spontaneously arrange themselves into bilayers this self assembly process is governed by the hydrophobic effect a fundamental principle in chemistry and bio and finally they get converted into a closed vessels as the lipid bilayer grow and expand they eventually close upon themselves forming spherical vessels encapsulating a small volume of aqueous solution inside these vessels are what we known as liposomes tiny bubbles with a phospholipid bilayer membrane now how can we formulate or synthesize this liposome in laboratory in the laboratory liposomes can be formed using various method including sonication extrusion and lipid film hydration method for instance lipid molecule dissolved in an organic solvent can be deposited as a thin film onto the wall of the container upon hydration with an aqueous solution and gentle aggregation liposomes spontaneously forms as a lipid film rehydrate and close into vessels types of liposomes there are usually three different types of liposomes one is conventional liposomes the pegylated liposomes and the cationic liposomes let's understand this one by one conventional liposomes these are composed of phospholipid bilayers 
and are commonly used for drug delivery. While the pegylated liposomes, these liposomes have a layer of uh, polyethylene glycol (PEG) peg on their surface, which helps to increase their circulation time in the bloodstream. These uh, liposomes are also used as a drug delivery systems, which are more advanced compared to the conventional liposomes. Now, here comes the third category that is a cationic liposomes. These liposomes have positively charged on its surface, making them useful for delivering nucleic acids such as DNA, RNA into the cells. As I have told you, this narrow vessel liposome is having a multiple applications. One of its application is in drug delivery. It is one of the best drug delivery system because it can accumulate drugs within it. Not just one, it can accumulate more than one drug also at the same time. It can deliver it to the specific part of your body and in the, uh, even in the particular part inside the cell also. It can be modified in such a way. It can also help uh, to give a, a protective layer and helps from degradation within the body. Also, it gives a good retention time for the drugs to reach to the particular area and then release it out in the proper manner. This is one of the best system that we use generally these days in the field of cancer treatment and uh, we are doing so much in uh, research work in uh, designing a different kind of uh, liposomes to make the drug delivery system more efficient and more accurate. Also, it is having a significant impact in the cosmetic industry because different ingredients can be encapsulated into it and can be delivered to the skin more efficiently. In food industries, different flavors, colors can be encapsulated inside this nano vessels, which helps them to protect to survive more and can be released in the controlled manner. These small vessels are having a high impact in today's era. In the field of research and science, we are exploring so many different vessels because of its high impact in the treatment of cancer and in different other fields. It can be considered as a good carrier in terms of chemotherapy and can solve many problems which are still existing with the chemotherapeutic strategy. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you really like this video, do share this video with your friend and family. And if you like our channel, please subscribe our channel. See you in the next video.